And here's the kittens. They're ready to come upstairs. We don't jump fences. We don't jump gates. So like I was saying, cats really like routines. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. So this is what I just came home to. I knew this was here and I knew it was going to be mostly crunchies. Hello, Boo. How are you, Boo? You feeling okay, Boo? You feeling okay? I saw what you did, Boo. I saw what you did. You ate all the crunchies. Boo ate all the crunchies. You feeling okay, Boo? So when I'm not here, all the cats are so sleepy. They just relax. So I am very much relaxed right now. I had a decent night's sleep and it's just, you know, nice to get a change of scenery, change of pace. And yeah, I feel good. And the cats get to relax a lot when I'm not here. Right, Boo? So hopefully they're all okay. Oh, here's Boo. I'm going to walk around the house, Boo. I'm going to walk around and see if there's any other vomit spots, okay? Here are three of the automatic feeders. Let's see if they went off correctly. So, yeah, they did. Here's another one. Yep, they did. Here's another one. Yep, they did. And here's booze. Oh, there's ants on this one. Jesus, there's ants. Okay, so I got to deal with that also. Got to clean up the vomit and deal with these ants. Here's Simba. Hello, Simba. There's Splash. Splash's in the penthouse. And here's Stella. Stella just came out to say hello. I just surveyed the house. I don't see any other vomit. Okay, now let's see what's going on down here. So this was a major success. Look at that. There's crunchies on both of these trays. And I watched the security camera footage and I watched the cats eat crunchies. And um, these trays are large enough that several cats can eat at the same time. But they really kind of ate in shifts. They just came over and ate what they wanted to and then left the rest. So there's quite a lot of crunchies left. I would say there's easily a cup of crunchies on each tray. So now I can adjust um, the amount that they get fed accordingly. And... Thankfully, I don't see any ants down here. And the only ants I've seen yet so far are the, one in Boo's, are the ones in Boo's room. And thankfully, it's not a whole lot. It's just like a handful. But I have to get to the bottom of those where, to see where they're coming from. And look what's going on here. This is major progress. So they used the extra litter box that I gave them. They used the other litter boxes. But look, the floor is not covered in litter. This is massive progress. There's Sammy. I'm going to take a walk around down here to see if there's vomit down here. There shouldn't be because I don't think anyone down here is gorging. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Eva. Yeah, we're good down here. Um, other than the fact that I only see five cats. We're missing the boys. Uh, Ringo and Richard, I don't know where they are. Um, but other than toys being all over the floor, everything is good. Everything is good, right, Eva? There's Richard. He's under the daybed. He's afraid of me. And there's Ringo. Ringo's under the daybed. He's afraid of me too. Okay, guys. I was only gone for less than 24 hours. There's no reason to be afraid of me. It's 3.30 p.m. There's Boo. So I was wrong about the ants. There were a lot more ants than just a few ants in this room. I did find a whole trail of them. And I had a lot of cleaning up to do. So I basically had to really tear a lot of this room apart to clean everything, vacuum everything, wipe everything down with like anti-ant stuff. And I put some ant bait down uh, where they were coming from um, near the baseboard of the wall. And while I was doing that, I realized that I haven't changed the runner or the blankets on the bed since the beginning of March. And I forgot to do it for April. So I just took out uh, this nice springtime yellow runner that I had gotten on clearance. And Boo's been enjoying that. I think the cats really like yellow. And I had this yellow blanket or material from downstairs. 
And I put this on the day sofa and Stella was luxuriating on it. She really likes it, but it's not big enough to go all the way to the other end of the day sofa. So I also have this lavender one that I put underneath it. And then I have this colorful flowered one um, that I'll use if I'm laying here. And if I'm a little chilly, I'll just use that as a blanket. So um, the entire room has been vacuumed and cleaned. I just need to wipe down the floor a little bit. And I also need to clean up this water tray. There's just like random litter around there. I need to clean that up also. So it was a lot more work than I thought it would be. But what I realized is that these automatic feeders fit perfectly in these storage shelves. So I can easily stack three up in one of these shelves. And then I have one in the other one. So these have all been washed and cleaned and dried and I'm going to leave them here for now, so that's that's good. They're convenient here. It's 8.30 a.m. I just walked into the room to open Boo's window, and I want to show you what I saw. Okay. I can't show you what I saw because it's no longer there. But there was just a tuxedo cat sitting right here. I don't know if it moved to the back door because I do have the back door open so the kittens can look out, but it was sitting right here and I first saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, it reminded me so much of Hydrox and Ditto, but then I saw that it had the collar around its neck and I knew it was my neighbor's cat. So um, within the past six months, I don't remember exactly when, um, but there's like a house kind of diagonally across from me that um, was sold and a new family moved in and I believe they have two cats because I've seen two cats in their yard and both have collars around their neck and I've also seen the cats hanging out right by their front door that's why I'm thinking that it's their cats plus I've never seen cats around here with collars around their neck before so at least I know the cat belongs to somebody and is taken care of so that's good and uh, boo is all excited because he saw the cat and I don't know where it went I don't know if it's still by the back door or not let's see what's going on if I open this door okay look there's nobody here oh look it's little Eva can you see little Eva I wonder if anyone was talking to the cat maybe they have a friend it's about 9 15 a.m. I just came downstairs to feed the kittens it's a bit of a mess down here today. I definitely have to clean out where the litter boxes are. There's litter all over the floor. They were doing so good with not getting litter all over the floor. And then I guess they had a party near the litter boxes because now there's litter everywhere. I'm just about to give them some treats by hand. Hello, Ringo. Hello, Ziggy. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Goldie. Hello, Sammy. Hello, Eva. Hello, Richard. Okay, we're going to have a treat. Okay, we're going to do treats. Who wants treats? Eva, you want one? Here, Eva. Ziggy loves these treats. Here, Ringo. Nancy, that was for Ringo. Eva. Richard. Sammy, did you get one? No, Sammy waits. Sammy waits patiently. Okay, eat that, Sammy. Good. Okay. Everyone had one, now we're going to have number two. Okay. Oh, look at Rick. Ringo's on top of the ottoman. Okay, there you go, Ringo. Sammy, did you get another one? Okay, you want number three? That's it. Ow! Richard, calm down. Calm down. Yeah. Okay, who wants another one? Okay. 
That's it. No more. We're all done. Oh, Sammy needs her third one. Sammy. That's it. For breakfast today, the cats are having homemade raw food with a little bit of some freeze-dried topper on top. It's freeze-dried turkey topper. You guys ready to eat? Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Who wants to eat? Everybody? They're awfully quiet today. Okay, you guys ready to eat something? Okay, here we go. Here we go. There they go. They're eating their food. I actually put an extra portion on one of the plates because this morning I mixed in a can of sardines into the food. Instead of just using uh, salmon oil or fish oil, I mixed in a can of sardines as just a little variety. And it ended up making a little bit more food. So that's why I put an extra portion. Someone will eat it. I've been trying to add a little bit more variety to the homemade raw food um, by putting a hard-boiled egg in it some days. Like, I'll squash up a hard-boiled egg, I'll mix that in, they really like that. Sometimes I'll mix in, like, a small three-ounce can of Fancy Feast Naturals, and they really like that. Now, that's like a three-ounce can divided by 11, because it gets mixed into the raw food, but it's just a little bit of change of flavor and... Um, a little different nutritional profile and sometimes I've been mixing in uh, the sardines like I did today and we've been trying to incorporate different types of poultry so um, the last batch of food that I made was mostly turkey it's hard to buy turkey parts um, most of the year so when I do see them especially when they're on sale for 99 cents a pound I make sure to buy them so I used like turkey thigh meat, um, but I still used chicken drumsticks for the bones. Um, I ground up the chicken drumsticks with the bones, and then I did a calculation of how much muscle meat was needed to um, provide the proper ratio of muscle meat to bone, and then I went with the rest was turkey. So they've been getting chicken. Sometimes I give them Cornish hen, which is a little bit different than chicken. Sometimes they get turkey and... They don't really like duck, and duck is really fatty. When I tried duck, it was just way too fatty. Sometimes they get quail. They haven't had quail in a while. But they're enjoying their food, so I'm going to go upstairs, start cleaning up, and see how the other cats did. It's 9.50 a.m. The cats finished their breakfast, and here's Boo. This is what he does. He eats his breakfast, and then he goes into his room. He's like, okay, I'm happy in my room. And he loves this yellow blanket. Like, he loves the color yellow. So does Stella. I don't know why, but they do. Boo must know he looks really good on yellow. Can you see how the yellow matches his eyes? I know it's probably hard to see, but the yellow matches his eyes. And the yellow also matches his cat bed. It has little yellow stars. And this is what's going on here. So Simba and Splash... They come into my room after they eat and they make themselves comfortable. Today they're both on the bed. Where's Stella? That's the question. I left the room to look for Stella and she came out of the penthouse. So there's Stella. She says, here I am. So they're all ready. Like they know their routine. Cats love routines. And here's the kittens. They're ready to come upstairs. We don't jump fences. We don't jump gates. So, like I was saying, cats really like routines. I want to see who else is going to jump that gate. Who else is going to behave and who's going to jump that gate? Okay, good girls. Okay, good girls. I'll move the gate over. Okay, you want to walk like a lady? Go ahead. Go ahead. You could go. You going to go, Eva? If Eva goes, 
if she walks past me, oh my gosh, look at her fur. I never realized this. She has red stripes. She's a tabby cat with red stripes. It's 11.30 a.m. I'm cutting up a watermelon and I have five cats crying at me. So I just gave them this rind that I'm about to throw out, but nobody wants it. Look at Ziggy. She was rolling around by the back door. There's Sammy. They just had treats. It is 6.45 p.m. I'm here with Stella and Boo and Simba and Splash. And there's Sammy. I don't know if you could see her because she's underneath the coffee table and it's very dark right now. You probably can't see anything, but she's hiding under here because she didn't want to go downstairs. But now she's stuck under here because the other cats are getting ready to eat their dinner and she's not going to want to come out because she's afraid of them. Right, Sammy? So Sammy just took herself downstairs because what happened was the other cats came into the kitchen because they like to watch me prepare their meal. And when they left the room, then Sammy came out from underneath the coffee table. And then um, when all the cats went back into the living room to eat their dinner, she then wanted to go back downstairs. I'm going to shut the door before Richard comes back up. Here's Splash. He's eating his dinner here because Sammy was in the dining room and he did not want to walk through the dining room. So he just was like sitting here and I just gave him his food here. It's just so funny. These cats just crack me up sometimes. It's 7.12 a.m. and this is what happens when I get up earlier than usual. Stella is still in bed. Here's Boo. Who doesn't want to get out of bed either? He's like, let me sleep. Here's Simba. So Simba's been up because he wants some treats. He's already hungry. He's like, give me breakfast. And there's Splash. Splash is still in bed also. He says he's so comfortable in his bed, he doesn't want to get up.
It's about 5.45 p.m. right now. Sammy plays with the catatrack like she's shooting pool. It's 7.15 p.m. and there's Ziggy. She decided she wanted to come back upstairs. Here's Boo, he's laying on the day sofa in his room. And there's Splash, he's laying by the windows. And what I've been doing in the evenings is letting cats come up on an individual basis if they want to and seeing what happens with the other cats. And so far the other cats have been, you know, very respectful. Sammy was up for a while, but then she went back downstairs and then Ziggy wanted to come up. So she's up here now, but I think she wants to go back downstairs also. Ziggy, you want to go back down? Come on. You can't come up, Nancy. Go ahead. Go, Ziggy. Go down. Go ahead. Go down. You can't sit, you can't sit in the open door. Okay, move in. It's about 2 p.m. and I ran some errands this morning and one of the places that I went was a new garden center that I've never been to before. It's actually not new, it's been around a long time. It's just new to me because I've never been there. Look at these beautiful flowers that they had there. So these are some zinnias, some daisies, some lavender. Um, and then I think these are called campfire. I don't know the real name for them. Um, red salvia, purple salvia, again, I don't know the names of some of these, and these are some, they said it was like a bay leaf plant, and then I also have some little patio tomatoes, some kakuza squash, those are going to go to grandma and grandpa, um, some more little tomatoes, and then I got a yarrow, and I'm hoping to put some of these around my bird bath that I have in the front yard and then put some of these in some containers around the patio. So we'll see how that goes. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today. It's sunny, the first sunny day that we've had in like over a week. And yeah, so I'm really looking forward to getting some of these in the ground. We'll see how it goes. These are the plants that I put in these containers a week or two ago. These are the Calibrachoa, I think that's how you say it. So I have the yellow. And I have the red, and so far they have not been eaten by deer, which I'm really happy about. And here's the red one, and there's the yellow one. And this is what the bird bath looks like right now. So this is a brand new bird bath. I just got it like a week ago. I have to still even it out. It's a little crooked um, because the ground's been settling underneath it. As you can see, there's really nothing planted here. I think there were some hyacinths that came up in the spring and then those purple ball things um, they came up but nothing else has come up so uh, that's why I bought a bunch of plants to plant around here so this is what the bird bath area looks like after I planted the plants now the yarrow does not look very good because I thought I would be able to actually split it in half but there's no way to split it in half I thought uh, you could just cut the roots in half and then like it would be two separate parts of the plant but it's not so um it's there right now let's see if it recovers because i did cut off like half the roots um i'm just going to give that a chance um, but everything else looks really good but because i was not able to split up that yarrow i want to get another plant to put here to kind of just balance this out and then hopefully these will start growing and filling out and then it will look really nice around this bird bath so right here I have some lavender, and then I have the purple salvia, the red salvia. This is a mime plant or a stock plant. And then there's another purple salvia, the yellow yarrow, and then another uh, red salvia. And I don't know, I think these are in the alum family, I, I just don't know the, the right name for them. This is one of my blueberry bushes that absolutely loves it here on the side of the house. So when I had all the trees here, I could not plant anything here because this was constantly in shade. But now it actually gets some sun during the early part of the day. And like right now in the afternoon, it gets afternoon shade. So this blueberry bush loves it here. I'm thinking of putting my other blueberry bushes here. Also, maybe they will all really like it. And this bush had a ton of flowers uh, before all the rainstorms so we'll see how much blueberries we get off of it.